Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Alienware laptop. This one is an Alienware M15 R2 model. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can upgrade the hard drive and what are the combinations that you can have in here and what, what is the best thing that you can do in here for you. Usually they come with a uh, 500 gig or one terabyte in a RAID format that makes it a little faster but you're pretty much compensating uh, liability for something else and this one actually comes with a 500 gig with a two ssds installed running at RAID zero that makes it a 500 gig hard drive so pretty much it just combines both of them together so the best thing you can do in here uh, is first back up the files just remember as soon as you upgrade the hard drive replace them you will not have any operating system or your main files everything it's going to be on the old one. So I recommend you guys to upload them to a cloud or on an external hard drive. Once you have backed up your files, next, also you need to make a Windows 10 or Windows 11 USB boot, uh, USB boot drive. I um, made a video how to create your Windows 10 and the same procedure goes for Windows 11. Uh, USB boot drive, it's all free. You don't need to purchase or anything like that. Before you do anything, you want to log into your Windows in your laptop. Make sure you have your Microsoft account associated with the Windows that you have in here. And because after that, once you install your Windows in here, as soon as you log in with your Microsoft account, it's going to be activated. Your CD key is going to be transferred over. So you don't have to worry about purchasing new license for it or anything like that. So check the link to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. I also made a video how to properly install it on a Dell laptop. Pretty much these are the laptops the proper way of installing Windows 10. All right, with all those set, we're gonna open it up and show you guys how to remove the SSDs. First thing first, a good screwdriver set is a must have. I fix a screwdriver set up to now, I find them really reliable and durable. We're gonna be using a Philips number one. These are made out of S2 classic steel. If you get the pro set, they give you a tweezers and some opening tools, if not, grab a in basic set like me and uh, for the opening tool i'll be using a guitar pick and metal guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers and with those on hand you can grab yourself a spatula a plastic spatula that you can it comes with a pro set but if not just find a plastic rod or anything like that anyway so down here we're gonna remove two screws completely which are at the back two here so remove these two screws at the back end one on each corner. These screws completely come out and they are the same size. The rest of the screws will not come out entirely because they have a little C-lock on the other side that will prevent them from coming out and they have a purpose. Those C-locks, what it does, it helps to push the cover away from the case. So as soon as you start opening the case, the screws, you're going to see that the cover is going to be pushed away from the bottom side. So that's the advantage of having the C-lock. So loosen up the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out to do your own upgrade, and you can support the channel by clicking that like and uh, subscribe. I really appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, once you remove the screws, all you need to do is grab the opening tool, your fingernail, put it on the front end and lift it up. Bring it up and pull it towards yourself so you can release these hinges at the back. Then you're gonna put it to one side and right away you can see the battery and there's two small crappy M.2 that they gave it to you. These are short M.2 which are really horrible, they overheat and they don't last a long time. So we're gonna remove these two and we're gonna install the new M.2. There must be an NVMe, do not put M.2 SATA. The best brands I recommend you is a Samsung uh, 980 Pro or 980 Normal. In normal version, I recommend you a Samsung Evo Pro, which are really durable and they will last you many long, many years. You can put a 4TB and 4TB NVMe in here with no issue, but I recommend you 2TB and 2TB. All right. The NVMEs, they have a little cut on them. The M.2 SATA, they have a two cut notches right on them. So if your SSD has a two notch, it will not go through here, it will not work. Make sure your NVMe has to have a one notch right in there. 
All right. Now to remove the SSDs, you do not need to remove the battery at all. It's absolutely not necessary to remove the battery. Most people, like I know, you must remove it. You don't need to remove the battery to do RAM upgrade, hard drive upgrade, anything like that. All you need to do is to remove the screws at the back end here. One right there and one right beside it. Once you remove those screws, all you need to do is to lift it up, bring it up about five degree up, upward, and you want to pull it towards yourself. Just pull it towards yourself, and it will disconnect the SSD right there. This is a really short SSD. The good SSDs are the Samsung brand. They have a more NAT chip. They have a DRAM cache and many other components that makes it much more durable. So pretty much you can save, keep it for the future. Put it to one side. You don't need to transfer any heatsink from here to this one. And all you need to do, grab the new one. And down there, you're gonna see a little notch right there, the SSD is supposed to go. So you wanna bring it down, make sure the notch matches the notch on that corner. Bring it down in five to 10 degree towards there. And you wanna push it towards the motherboard. Make sure it goes all the way in. And then the screw hole has to match right in here. Once the screw hole matches, that should be all. Now you can just simply put the screw right on top of it and tighten it up. Okay, same thing for this one. You can only remove this SSD, bring it backward, put it to one side, grab your second SSD. It can be a different brand. They don't have to be the same exact brand. You can get one cheap two terabyte for your files and one good terabyte, two terabyte, a good brand for your operating system or vice versa. Put the tiny screw right on top of it. There we have it, just like that. This is Western Digital, pretty much it's just a whole empty space in here. DRAM is right here, DRAM cache is right here. Even this is better than the garbage that they give you. Anyway, this is for the demo, I'm not actually gonna put it on. Also, remember the link to create a Windows USB, it's in my video description, and uh, you can look it through there. To remove this one, you have to bring it in 510 degree and pull it back. 5, 10 degree. Don't lift up too much, otherwise you're gonna break the jack. You wanna bring this main one and align it right there and push it all the way in and bring it down. Same thing in here. And put the two screws right on top. And that should be all. If you guys have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. So once you put those ones in, if you have disconnected the battery, just push it back in. Grab the bottom case, put the back end slider right under the back cover, bring it down, and you start tightening up the screws, and the screws will pull cover, pull the cover back to itself. And that should be all for this video. I'm just gonna finish up putting up the screws. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.